Yeah, on our way here, we were actually just talking about how Nixon's first week appointment, he started crying his guts out. It was the first time we'd ever heard him cry so hard. And we got so worried, we actually stopped the car, got out. Somewhere by a gate, it's Baby, they ain't never Okay guys, we want to give you an update on little baby Luca. It's gonna get dark, I'm going in the house. It's getting the car loaded up. We're getting him in his car seat right now. But Luca is a week old. He's growing up so fast. Oh my gosh, and there he is. <laughs> that is rare. Oh, well, cry you're hearing is extremely rare. He doesn't cry, like, ever. Um, even when he's hungry, he just grunts. He's a big time grunter. Just a lot of, uh, uh, I'm uncomfortable. Other than that, he's super happy and we're kind of excited about that because Nixon is insanely active and hyper that we're hoping he gives us a little bit of a break. Oh, the reason for this is that we have his one week appointment today. We could have the world to Going to a place that's far Staring at the stars for hours Cause you're a renegade I could be the one who saved you from this place. How's it being a new mom? Um, it's good. Yeah, I feel like this time around being a mom it definitely is less stressful than the first time, wouldn't you say? I mean, you're not a mom, oh, you're a dad, but I feel like, yeah, there, when I think back of like Nixon's first week of life, like I just remember like just feeling so like just stressed about things and worried and this time, yeah, I definitely feel like it's just, cause it's like, it's not like a new role as a mom. Like I've already been a mom. I already have like had that mindset for a long time and it's just having another kid now. And with Nixon, it was like, I had a whole new role of like being a mom that was like made it harder to adjust to. Yeah, on our way here, we were actually just talking about how Nixon's first week appointment, he started crying his guts out. It was the first time we'd ever heard him cry so hard. And we got so worried, we actually stopped the car, got out, and Haley got in the back and she was all concerned and we were worried that he was like gonna die. <laughs> and uh, we realized when we got to the appointment, we asked the doctor and he said, welcome to parenthood, that's just, that's life now. So, we're experienced is what we're trying to tell you. If uh, Luca was to cry like that, we would be just fine. Luca, did they make you get undressed? Is it coldy? Oh, yeah. oh that's better. That's better. It's so coldy, huh? Okay. Are you hungry or are you what? He's documenting all these cries because we we'll never hear them. He's not happy. He's not happy because we had to take his clothes off and he doesn't like being cold. That's like the one time he does cry. Huh. You're still a good boy though. Oh yeah, and you're hungry. Hmm. There you go. Just needed mommy. Yeah, you just needed mommy. So what did he come in weighing at? Eight and a half. Wait. Yeah. Eight pounds, five ounces. I, she said. I don't remember. Eight and a half pounds. I think it's eight ounce, eight pounds, five ounces. So I think he was. Seven pounds, fifteen ounces. So he is already back up and past his birth weight. <laughs> All right, Luke is healthy. That's all we can ask for. Gained weight. We'll see them next time. <laughs> there he is. Good boy. Dude, you are dying so much. You're making me look like a 